Hello, and welcome to today's broadcast of Polygamy Alive. I'm Erica, here with Quinn. Hello, everyone. We have a very special guest today, one that I'm sure you'll be very excited to see. Hello, my name is John Humphrey Noyes. I'm a philosopher, a socialist, and a preacher. I was born in 1811 in Vermont to a teacher, businessman, House of Representatives rep, and a minister. I know what you're thinking. John, you lived in a polygamist family. How come you're the father of the term free love? Well, joke's on you, because my dad was all of those things. So yeah, I had a lot to live up to. But, nope, nope. But instead of law, which I was planning to do as a career, I was totally invested in religion. John dropped his plans to study law after graduating from Dartmouth, and instead decided to enroll in the Christian ministry. Here's my two cents. You can be totally free of sin and live life entirely according to God's will. You can be perfect. This is called perfectionism. Me personally, I'm not a sinner. <laughs> One could say I'm pretty perfect. John, however, was not perfect to the Calvinist orthodoxy. They refused to give him a preaching license, and he was forced to leave Yale. It's whatever, though, because here's my solution. Putney. That's right. Bible communists. Every man is married to every woman. All sex is allowed as long as it's consensual and doesn't result in male ejaculation. This is what we call selective breeding. And again, people were not happy with John. He was arrested for adultery. Do you think this stopped me? Hell no! Sure I jumped enough. bail and made another community called Oneida, which, if I do say so myself, resulted in being a highly successful industrial community. <clears throat> and you can credit selective breeding for that.